Hello, and welcome back to step four of the Accelerated Investor Program with me, Warren Jeffrey. So far, we've covered how to free up 2,400 grand each month to get your million rand portfolio started. You've seen the power of compounding and rand cost averaging. And I've even shown you how you can build a well diversified 100,000 rand portfolio using ETFs. Now, you could carry on using this ETF portfolio and keep investing 2,400 rand each month and in less than 13 years, you'd be sitting on a million rand portfolio. But here at FSP Invest, we want to help you speed that process up. To do this, I've arranged for some of the top market experts from FSP Invest to share their investment strategies with you. We'll go in depth into these different strategies in step five of the Accelerated Investor Program. But before we get to that, you need to do one thing to make sure you're in a position to take advantage of these tips and strategies our experts will share with you you need to have a broker account. So, what exactly is a broker account? In order to trade shares on the, or securities on the JSE, you need to trade through a registered broker with the JSE. These brokers can buy and sell shares on your behalf, or they can arrange that you're able to trade using their online platforms. Now, you might be wondering, why didn't I tell you to do this earlier? Well, the truth is, it costs money to trade through a broker. With most minimum brokerage charges coming in at between one and 200 Rand, you need to be entering trades with a value of more than 5,000 Rand each to make using a broker cost efficient. So, how do you get started setting up a broker account? The first thing you need to do is have all your personal documentation in order so you can make the account opening process as simple as possible. The documentation you'll need is 1. A certified copy of your ID. This is straightforward enough. 2. Confirmation of your banking details, such as a recent bank statement. You'll need to transfer funds into your broker account to trade and your broker will also need your account details to transfer your funds back to you when you bank profits. 3. Proof of your SARS tax number. You'll need to give your broker proof of the fact that you are registered with SARS. To do this, you can use any letter from SARS that contains your tax reference number. 4. Proof of residential address. As part of the FICA process, you are required to provide a proof of residence. You can use a municipal bill with your name on it, or if you don't receive this bill with your name on it, then you can get a certified affidavit from the person whose name does appear on the utility bill to confirm that you live at the said address. So, now you've got all your documentation together, you need to decide on a broker to open your account with. To do this, there are a couple things you need to consider. Firstly, does the broker trade all the securities and instruments you want to invest in? If your broker can trade ETFs, equities, and single stock futures and, or CFDs, then you're good to go. Don't worry, I'll explain more about these a little later in the program. Secondly, are the broker cost competitive? Now, when it comes to cost being competitive, this is a somewhat subjective topic, but, and this is a big but, you need to realize that the more you pay in brokerage, the more you'll be losing out on when it comes to returns on your investments and compounding. You can expect to pay a minimum fee in the region of 100 Rand per trade or a brokerage cost of half a percent on the amount traded. If the broker you're considering is way off this mark, I'd suggest you look for another broker. When you open your broker account, you will be asked if you want a discretionary account or a non-discretionary account. The discretionary account is an account where you authorize the broker to trade using his discretion on your behalf. This can be a good option for those of you who are happy letting a broker make your investment decisions for you. But, if you don't know your broker well, or you want to choose your own path to wealth, using the guidelines I'll cover in the rest of the Accelerated Investor Program, rather choose a non-discretionary account. The non-discretionary account means your broker will execute and advise on trades you wish to place or investments you want to make, but he'll only act under instruction from you. This type of account is better suited to the investor who wants to take charge of their own financial future. Another thing you need to be aware of is some brokers have a minimum amount they require you to invest before you can open an account. This can range from tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands of rand, depending on the broker you use. As an FSP investment reader, I've arranged some special deals with a select group of brokers I feel offer you great value. These brokers will allow you to open an account with just 10,000 rand. This shouldn't be a problem for you, seeing as by now your portfolio should be sitting at a value of around 100,000 Rand. Also, by telling your broker you've been referred to them by FSP Invest, 
you can qualify for specially negotiated brokerage rates and even get your first trade free. You can get details on all these top brokers in the resource section of your online classroom or by clicking the link at the end of this lesson. So get out there and open your broker account today. As soon as you've done this, you'll be ready to join the investment big league and grow your wealth into your very own million rand portfolio. Be sure to join me for the next lesson in the Accelerated Investor Program where I'll be discussing shares and exactly how you can go about investing in them and make yourself a fortune. Until then, here's to staying ahead of the game.